Hi guys, this is Erin Turner. Um, I am originally from Norfolk, Virginia. Thanks to the Army, I have moved to Fairbanks, Alaska, where my husband was stationed at Fort Wainwright, and to Kansas, where my husband was stationed at Fort Riley. I, uh, we've been married since 2008, and he retired in 2015, and we just decided that we liked the area. And so we decided that we would stay put. We purchased a house, and we live in Junction City, and I work for USD 475. I am currently a fourth grade teacher, but I have the opportunity to move into the library next fall, and so I will be doing that. My critical reflection, uh, my quarterly data meetings uh, each quarter, the classroom teacher meets with the principal and the instructional coach. We discuss math, reading, and behavior. For behavior, we have a very specific spreadsheet that we fill out, and it talks about uh, whether our students are flat emotionally, um, if we have issues with lying, if we have issues with, you know, aggressiveness and things like that. And we score them between a one and a four based on the, uh, I'm sorry, a zero and a four based on how often it happens. And that is a, a changing document. That is a living document. It may be a three at the beginning of the year. And in the third quarter, it may be a zero. It just all depends on the kiddos. We also meet with about our math and we discuss our mid and end of modular assessment scores. With Eureka Math, we do modules instead of units, and so that is the data we use for that. And our reading data, my district uses iStation, Imagination Station Online, and at the beginning of every month, our students take a test called the ISIP. We then list our students in tiers one, two, or three, and then we have a very brief, unfortunately very brief discussion as to what we could do to help our tier three students improve. For my personal knowledge of data, I do monitor my classroom data regularly. Uh, with math, I not only use those modular assessments, but each lesson has an exit ticket. And so after our, we do a whole group lesson and then we break into small groups and do what is called a problem set. And after that, the students are released to go do their exit tickets. And so those exit tickets also give me data because you've just sat in a very small group with maybe four students and had a second part of a lesson. So that also lets me know whether or not the kiddos are really getting it. And then just my teacher observation. I tutor twice a week in math. That is a living, breathing group. It is constantly changing based on the needs in my classroom. I also, for teacher observations for reading, for the ISIP score, and their weekly test scores and their small group work. I am lucky enough that I have time built into my class schedule for small group reading. We do anything from letter sounds, to word blends, to phonics, to fluency, to comprehension, to figurative language. I mean, you name it, we work on it. And it is all based on what the kiddos need. I do have a para in my classroom and she does take a small group for me. And I was lucky enough to have interns both semesters this year. And I had very good interns, very strong interns. And so they were also able to meet with a group to kind of work with them and help them. Um, I, I feel like I do a pretty good job using data with my struggling kiddos. My downfall is my higher kiddos. Um, I, I tend to kind of just, they know what they're doing, so I let them go. And so my goal is to help push them to get better as well. So my plan is to meet with our special ed teacher who happens to also have a gifted endorsement. And with her, I will get ideas of how I could help these higher students continue to grow. We also have several staff in the building who have 10 plus years of experience that may be able to help me gain some ideas and, and different ways that I could help these kiddos. We're getting a new principal who has tons of experience and I just feel like with all of us we'll be able to better push my higher kids as well as my lower kids. I look forward to learning better ways to use my data and I look forward to meeting with everyone. Thanks for listening.